Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In the previous video, we have successfully completed this adding an item, right? Whenever I am trying to add an item, we are able to add successfully the grocery item. Now it's time for us to work on this hide list. So whenever I am trying to select this hide list, okay, so these are all the uh, grocery items, whichever is there, these are all grocery list and all those things needs to get disappear. Okay, so it should hide. And when I deselect this one, it should be visible again. So this is the logic we need to do. So this is a simple logic. And you know that this is a checkbox. Okay. So this checkbox has a method. We need, we need to use the method change method. Change method means when the state of this input box has been changed, then only we can, then, then only uh, we can, uh, then only we can add an event uh, for the change event and we can write the logic. So first we need to catch this height checkbox. So this height checkbox, let's see that whether we are having an ID or not. So this is the input type is called checkbox. And this one is having an idea of hide. Okay. So let's go into this one. Hide items. This is the logic I am trying to write. And here let's try to catch the let hide checkbox is equal to document document dot get element by ID of hide. So we got the hide. So now what we need to do is we need to add an event listener for this one. Event listener is hide checkbox dot add event listener of change and we need to add hide items. So I am having a method hide item. So here I can have function hide items. So now Whenever that one is selected, this event, this whenever that one is checked, so this this function will be invoked. Let's try to do the console.log. So how we can check that one? So here I can use hide checkbox. That one is checked or not. So we can have a property checked. So this returns true or false. I will show you. So if I try to use this one here, console. And if I click on this one, see, we got the true. And if it is not selected, we got it false. So true or false by using this one so this is the checked by using this one so if it is checked means it is true that means the checkbox has been checked if it is not checked means it is false that means the checkbox is not checked so by using this checkbox uh, by using this checked property so we can if it is checked means if it is true means we need to hide this entire grocery list if it is not checked means we need to show it again so this entire grocery list comes under what i can say is this one grocery list id is equal to grocery list so we need to catch this id is equal to grocery list and we need to hide it and we need to show it so here what i can do if checkbox sorry hide checkbox hide checkbox dot checked if it is checked means then i need to catch it so that means let grocery items is equal to document dot get element by id of grocery open list so this is the item we are having so if it is checked means then grocery items we need to hide it style dot display is equal to none so i need to hide it or otherwise if it is not checked means i need to show it back again grocery items dot style dot display is equal to block i can use it like this so now if i try to refresh this page and if you see the output see it got entirely high hidden and if you want to do so it is showing so like this we can add it so now by using the change event so we are able to hide the items and also show the items so instead of using this if else and all those things if you want to decrease the code means i can remove this one so all the time i will add it as block okay and if it is links none so this one is also okay so either ways you can write it so now if i try to see it i will show the code so here See the same thing happens here. So if you are selecting, it will say so like this. You'll have. So this is how we will be hi hiding the items. So the next one remaining is the search items. We will try to uh, work on these search items also. So we'll try to do it in the next video. So hope you understood about this hide checkbox and also the change event. How I am trying to add it. And here the checked property which returns true or false. Hope you understood about this one all. If you have any doubts or any suggestions, please post the comments below to this video. And if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.